Hey everyone, this is Brian from fitnessblender.com. Welcome to day four of the FB Strong Challenge. Today, I have an upper body compound strength workout for you. This workout features five compound sets focusing on the muscles in the upper body. Each one of these compound sets has three exercises for 40 seconds each. We're gonna rest 30 seconds at the end of those three exercises. The equipment needed today, I recommend a light and medium dumbbell or a light and medium weight, depending on the type of weight you're using, and the optional mat. Your warm up and your cool down is included. So if you guys are ready, let's get started with this workout. All right, let's get started with the warm up. So today I have five movements. Each one of these movements today are gonna to be 30 seconds each. And we're gonna do these for two rounds. We'll get started here first with something called trunk rotations. We're gonna be loosening up our lower back and our obliques with this one here. All right, so we're gonna pick up those elbows and we're gonna to start to gently rotate side to side. All right, let's go. As you notice here, as I rotate, my back heel comes up off the ground. So if I'm turning to my left, my right heel is coming up. And be sure here not to jerk or be too rough with this one. This one is a very smooth movement. 10 seconds. Next up, we're going into our shoulder taps. All right, going into our plank position here, and we're tapping those shoulders. Good plank. Also with this one here, if you're struggling to hold the plank or the push-up position, you can go to your knees and do the same thing. All right, keep it going, guys. We have about 10 seconds. Good. Next up, we're going to our prone presses, dropping straight to the floor. All right, we're down here, toes on the floor, squeeze your glutes, chest up, driving the elbows back and pushing them straight forward. Keep your eyes focused on the floor. Don't hike your head up. 15 seconds. Squeeze your glutes. 10 seconds. Next up is our shoulder rolls. All right, we're up and going right into that shoulder roll, reaching overhead, nice and gentle. If you're enjoying this FB Strong Challenge, be sure to check out the four week version of this challenge. It has a lot of cool workouts from other trainers. And the good thing about this is, it does require membership if you have the plus pass. So check it out if you have time. Five seconds. Next up is our jumping jacks. All right, we're up and into the jumping jacks. Let's get our heart rate up here. Nice job. 15 seconds. Now remember, right at the end of this, going right back to our trunk rotations. Five seconds. All right, right back to the trunk rotations. Keep that at a good pace. Nice gentle warm up here. Good job. About 15 seconds. Remember going back to our shoulder taps. Two, one, all right, back to that high plank position and tapping those shoulders. Nice and easy, try to keep your body as still as possible. Brace that core. Good. Going to our prone presses next. Five seconds. Two, one, all right, we're down, toes on the floor, chest up. Driving those elbows back. Extend those arms overhead. Keep your chest off the floor and your eyes looking down at the floor. Good. Nice and easy, squeeze those glutes. 
Five seconds. Shoulder rolls next. All right, we're up. Right into those shoulder rolls, big overhead reach. And then switching sides. Nice. Remember finishing out this round with the jumping jacks. Last one before we get started on our compound strength workout today. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, we're up. Finishing out with the jumping jacks. Keep it going. Nice job. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, team. Let's get started with this compound strength workout. All right, everyone. Let's get started with the compound strength sets today. We're going to begin our first part with our chest. All right, so again, each one of our movements today are going to be 40 seconds. There's no rest in between until we finish all three. First up, we're starting with the dumbbell floor press. So let's grab those weights, get to the floor, and get started. Just our standard press, get the elbows to the floor, and pressing right back up. If your breathing patterns here, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Great job. Pushing it out. Now, if you have to change weights between the exercises, it's okay if you lose a couple of seconds here. Just make sure to hop right back in. Gonna keep it up. In about 10 seconds, we're moving into our chest flies next. Good. Two, one. All right, I'm gonna be changing weights out. Again, if you're changing weights, just make it fast. Right back to it, we're beginning with the arms up. Coming out, still elbows to the floor, slightly bent, squeezing the chest, bringing the weights back together. Working our chest flies here. Good. We're going to finish out the round with something called a crush press. A little bit of a burnout. Good. Keep it up. The big squeeze, we bring those weights together. Slight bend in the elbows. Five seconds. All right, I'm going to change back to my medium-sized weights. Now I'm going into the crush press here. So we're going to bring those weights together, and we're pressing them out. Good, keep it up. Let's push through it. About 20 seconds. Good. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. 10 seconds. Two, one, and time. All right, remember we have a 30 second break here and we're starting right back over from the top. We're going right back to those floor presses. Make sure you guys are selecting a good weight that's giving you a challenge, but it's not too heavy. All right, so again, today I'm using medium and light. So find something that's gonna give you a challenge each round and also gives you an option to modify if you need to. All right, team, five seconds. Final round here in the chest. Then we're moving to the back. All right, let's go. Back to our floor presses. Good, keep it up. Pushing them out. Nice job. Starting to feel it already. 20 seconds. Good, keep it up. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, moving into our chest flies next. Again, I'll be switching to my lighter weights. Good, squeeze as you bring that weight back up, right in the middle of the chest. Good. 
Nice job, team. Keep it up. About 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Going back to that crush press to finish out is our burnout. Two, one, weights together and press them out. Good, keep it up. 30 seconds. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, next up, we're moving to our back. So we're gonna be standing up here. We're gonna be working our bent over rows. Bent over rows today with our hands on the side. All right, in our neutral grip. That's our next one. So we have about 10 seconds left here in the break. All right, bent over rows. So now we're focusing on the back. Two, one. All right, let's go. Standard row. Great job. Keep it up. Give you a side view here, guys. Get your hips back. Keep that back flat. Eyes on the floor. Great job, keep working. Nice, 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Next up is gonna be our reverse flies. Back to my lighter weight, focusing on the back. Good control. Try not to fly away using those big wings. <laughs> Just take your time. Good. 20 seconds. Now, if you have to modify, again, lower your weight. Also, slow down just a little bit. Maybe take a couple seconds in between each rep. Good. Five seconds. Moving into our Yates row next. Two, one. All right, guys, this one here, your palms are up. And it's still a bent over row going into your pull. Good, keep it up. That's it. Now, 20 seconds. Nice job, keep working. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, 30 second break. We're gonna go right back to those bent over rows. One more round of flies. One more round of, one more round of Yates rows. Great job so far. 15 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Back to our standard row neutral grip, hands on the side. Two, one. All right, let's go. Again, slow your pace down, lower your weight. If you need to modify. Great job. Big pull and squeeze as you row. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, three, two, one, and time. All right, moving into reverse flies next. Let's keep it going. Again, lower your weights if you have to, to modify 
or slow down your reps. Take a couple seconds in between maybe, if you have to. Good, 10 seconds. Last round, Yates row. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, Yates row, switching it up. Finish it out. Palms are up, going into that row. Great job. Keep it up. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Man. All right, guys, nice job. We're going to take a quick water break, come back, hit the biceps, triceps, and shoulders. See you guys in one sec. All right, welcome back. So now we're gonna begin part two of this upper body compound strength workout. This round, we're gonna be focusing on the triceps and you're only gonna need one dumbbell. Still keep your light and medium nearby because you may wanna change these out during the sets. All right, so again, we're gonna be beginning with a 40 second round. First up, we're going into our one dumbbell close grip press. So grab your dumbbell, we're gonna be holding it just like this between the hands. All right, we're going right into that press. We're pushing straight up. Trick here is to find a good rhythm. Nice. Nice and easy here. Nice. Keep working. Focusing on our triceps this round. Nice. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Now next up, we're going to a one dumbbell skull crusher. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. Points overhead, coming down, extending straight up. If you guys are enjoying this workout, this is a great opportunity to talk about the Add the Favorites tab on the website. It's a good way to find workouts that you love. You can save them for later. Or if it's one of those things you come online and don't have time that day, Go ahead and click Add to Favorites. It'll be in your tab, and you can find it later when you're ready to work out. I actually use it a lot, especially now because I'm focusing on mobility. So I like using it for the yoga workouts on the website. So guys, check it out if you get a chance. Next up, we're going to our overhead tricep extensions. All right, we're coming up here. I'm actually going to switch weights on this one. I'm starting to feel fatigued already. Overhead and extending those arms up. Good. Keep it up. 30 second break coming up. 20 seconds. Good. Keep those elbows close. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. And time. All right, we have a 30 second break here. We're gonna go right back to that one dumbbell close grip press. Great job so far. Again, last round on the triceps. Remember, we're only doing two. After this, we're gonna move on to the biceps. All right, team, 15 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Ready to get set. Last time on the tricep round here. All right, let's go. Pushing them up. Triceps burning yet? I know mine are. That's it, team. Keep working. Nice. About 20 seconds. Get a good rhythm and just kind of stick with that pressing rhythm here. 15 seconds. 
10 seconds. Moving to the one dumbbell skull crusher next. Two, one. All right, let's go. Head overhead, extending up. And my arms are shaking already, guys. Let's keep it up. We're almost done. Nice. Good pace. Bringing that dumbbell right above the forehead. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Going back to our overhead tricep extension with that one dumbbell. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, we're back up. We're gonna finish out here. Overhead. Again, I'm switching to my lower weight because I'm getting fatigued. Keep working. Nice. About 20 seconds. Good. 10 seconds. Push them through. Two, one, and time. Woo. All right, next up, moving to our biceps. We're gonna start out with something called an iso curl. We're gonna be starting with the left side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lock your arm at a 90 degree angle and you're gonna hold it. The other side, you're gonna be doing your curl for that full 40 seconds. And then we're gonna switch 40 seconds on the other side and then 40 seconds together. A lot of the biceps here, but only two rounds. Here we go, three, two, one. Lock it in, going into your standard curl. Now, if you're starting to fatigue here, or this is hard, you can switch to a hammer position and see if that helps if you, want to, if you can't lower your weight, okay? So this could be an option here. Otherwise, stick with the same position and keep going. Good, 20 seconds. Good, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side. Coming up, three, two, one. All right, lock it in and curl. Good, keep working. Keep that arm at 90 degrees. If you have to, you can drop it and finish your curl if you're getting a little too fatigued, can't hold it up. That could be another modification too. Good, keep going. 20 seconds. Now this next round, we're gonna do the curls together. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Good. Four, three, two, one. All right, now right together here. A little bit of a burnout to finish out the round. Remember we have one more set, going two times. Good job guys, keep working. About 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. I don't know about you, but my arms are burning already. Good, keep it up. Ten seconds. We got this pushed through. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, 30-second break. One more round on the biceps. I know you guys are feeling that pump already. All right, 20 seconds. Great job so far, guys. We got this one more round, then we're moving on to our shoulders. We're almost finished this workout. 10 seconds. All right, going back to that ISO curl. Two, one, left side, let's go. Good, pushing them out. We can do anything for 40 seconds. Good. And don't forget to modify if you have to. Hammer curl position will work. Or if you need to drop it and go into that curl and just keep going, that's fine too. Do what you have to do to finish the round. 15 seconds. Good, 10 seconds. Good. 
Good. Three, two, one. All right, lock the other side and curl. Great job. About 30 seconds. Hold it. Don't let that arm drop. Again, modify if you have to. 20 seconds. Nice. Biceps are burning now. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, together. Let's go. Push them out. Finish strong on the biceps. We have one more set left with the shoulders. Try to prevent yourself from swinging if you can. Take your time. You have to slow it down a little bit. I understand. You don't have to push through and try to rep them out. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Don't forget the hammer curl option. Could be a little easier for you. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice job. 30 seconds. Last round going into our shoulder press. Now, I'm going to be doing my shoulder press for my knees because I have a height issue here with my ceiling. I don't want to punch through the ceiling. All right, so I'll be on my knees, but you can stay up at home for this one. All right, team, 10 seconds. Here we go, right into our knee, well, shoulder presses here. I'm kneeling. All right, let's go. Standard presses overhead. Elbows are stopping at 90. Good. Keep it up. Nice, 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Good. Keep working. Next up, upright rows. Two. One. All right. Upright rows next. When you're doing your upright rows here, get your elbows out. We're stopping about chest height. You don't want to go too high. Keep those dumbbells close in the center as you're coming to your upright row. Nice job. Elbows flailing out to the side. 20 seconds. Nice job. 10 seconds. Next up, we're going into our rear delt row. Three, two, one. All right, we have a wide position. Elbows are coming out and then back in. All right, so top view here so you can see elbows are coming out to the side and straight up. We're focusing on our rear delts. Good. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. A lighter weight for this one is probably a little better. The rear delts are a small muscle, so I wouldn't go too heavy. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice. 30 seconds and one more round. Great job so far, guys. Let's finish strong here. Last time through on our shoulders. 15 seconds. Again, you can stay standing at home. I'm kneeling so I don't punch through the ceiling. All right, here we go. Two, one. Last round, shoulder presses, let's go. Good, keep it up. Last time through. Nice. Let's finish strong, nice tight core. Try not to arch your back too much. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, upright rows next, 
three, two, one. All right, upright rows, let's go. Great job. Push them out, finish strong. 30 seconds. That's it. 20 seconds, guys, keep working. All upper body today. Good. 10 seconds. Going back to that rear delt row next. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's finish them out. Finish strong here, last round. Nice wide pull. Elbows aiming towards the ceiling. Excellent job. 20 seconds. 15. We're almost there. 10 seconds. 2, 1, and time. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Not done yet. We're going to finish out today with our cool down to have another water break. I'll see you guys in 20 seconds. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna finish out today with our cool down. Today's cool down, guys, has six movements. Each one is 30 seconds. We're only going through it once. We're gonna to begin today with our child's pose. All right, so let's get set on the floor here. Take your time, control your breathing, and relax. All the hard work is finished. Here we go, two, one. Just push those hips back and drop that head between the arms and just relax. Nice deep breath. Good job today. Excellent work, way to push through. 15 seconds. Nice. Next up, we're gonna be threading the needle here. All right, coming up here, I'm gonna take this arm overhead, reach all the way through, drop my shoulder to the ground and relax. Looking underneath of that armpit, as you can see here, and still controlling my breathing. Nice job. 15 seconds. At the bell, we're gonna switch sides. Excellent job. All right, switch it up, other side, continue. Again, just relax. Great job, great job. 15 seconds. Next up, we're moving into our forearm stretch. So we're gonna stay on all fours here. All right, forearm stretch here. We're gonna turn our hands so our fingertips are pointing towards our knees. And from here, we're gonna push our hips back, stretching out that forearm. Now, the deeper you go by pushing your hips back, the more intense the stretch gets on your forearms here. Keep it up. Got about 15 seconds. For our next one, we're standing up. Five seconds. All right, we're up. We're going into our chest opener next. So I'm going to bring my hands behind my back here. Gently lift up. Pull my shoulders back, stretching out that chest. If it's too much for you, you can let those hands relax and just pull back on your shoulders. Try to open up that chest there, looking nice and tall and looking forward. Good, 10 seconds. Next up, we're going to a tricep stretch, and we need it after that tricep round today. Two, one, all right, hands are overhead. We're gonna pull down gentle on the elbow and relax. Control your breathing here. Good job. 
about 15 seconds at the bell we're switching sides. Great job. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, go ahead and switch it up, other side, continue. Great job today, great work, way to push through. 15 seconds, we have one more stretch. We're gonna finish out today with our cross body stretch. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, now we're gonna pull one arm across, gently pulling that elbow and just holding nice and easy here. Again, control your breathing. 15 seconds. Nice job. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, switch it up, other side. Last one. Great job today. Again, control your breathing, try to relax. This is your cool down here. Five seconds. And time. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Workout complete. Great job in finishing today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. I'm looking forward to seeing the comments below. You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you soon.